Today we'll be deploying smart contract on Arbitrum. For this example, I'll be using Hardhat to deploy the contract. So the first thing that we'll do is make sure that Hardhat is installed. And we can do that by typing npx hardhat. You can see here that I have already installed Hardhat. However, if you have not installed this yet, then you can install Hardhat by typing npm i-g hardhat. Once hardhat is installed, we'll initialize a project by typing in npx hardhat. We'll create a basic sample project and then hit enter. Add git ignore, yes. Do I want to install dependency? Yes. Once the installation is done, we'll also install some packages. The package that we're going to need is .m. So I'll type npm i .m. .m is a library that will allow you to load environment variables by defining them inside a .m file. So the next thing that we'll do is create a .m file. This file has to be named .m. Inside this file, we'll declare two environment variables, private key and L2 RPC. Private key will be the private key of the account that is going to be deploying the contract onto the L2. And L2 RPC is the URL for the L2 node that we're going to be submitting the transaction to. For this example, we'll deploy our smart contract on Arbitrum that is running on the testnet Rinkeby. So the URL that we're going to be using is https slash slash rinkebyarbitrum.io slash rpc. And for the private key, I'll paste it from my MetaMask, but obviously I'm not going to show it here. Here, what you'll have to do is export the private key from MetaMask, copy the private key, and then prefix it with 0x, followed by the private key that you just copied. Once we filled out our .m file, the next step that we'll do is configure the hardhack config. So I'll open hardhack config.js, and then we're not going to need this code, so I'll delete all of this. We'll load our environment variables here, so I'll type require.m.config. This will read the variables declared inside a .m file and load it onto the environment variable. The next thing that we'll do is set up the Arbitrum network. So I'll type networks arbitrum. The URL, we'll get it from the environment variable, so we'll say URL process.m.l2rpc. The account that we're going to be using to deploy the contract, so that will be accounts brackets, and then we'll load the private key from environment variable, so we'll type key. Okay, that completes the config for hardhat. Let's take a look at the contract that we're going to be deploying. We're going to be deploying the greeter contract and we'll remove some code that we're not going to need for this example. We won't need hardhat console, so I'll remove this. And I'll also remove all of the console logs. And we're now ready to deploy this contract. Let's make sure that this contract compiles. So I'll open my terminal and then type npx hardhat compile. And the contract compiles. So the next step is to deploy this contract. So we'll make a script to deploy the contract. I'll rename this script to deploy, and then open it, and then remove some of the comments that we're not going to need. And we'll run the script to deploy the contract. But before we do that, since we're going to be deploying this contract to Arbitrum, we're going to need to move our ETH from the testnet over to Arbitrum. First, we'll need ETH on the Rankeby testnet. If you don't have any, then you can access a faucet. For example, I, here I am using faucet from Chainlink to get some ETH for the Rinkeby testnet. Once you have some Rinkeby ETH inside your wallet, the next thing that you need to do is send this ETH over to Arbitrum. So once you're here, what we will do is send some ETH over to Arbitrum. As you can see here, I already have some ETH on Arbitrum. But just to show you what it looks like, I'll send 0.01 .01 ETH over to Arbitrum and then click on deposit. Once I confirm MetaMask, you can see here that that the deposit is waiting for confirmation and it's going to take about 10 minutes before the ETH is transferred over to Arbitrum. I waited a couple minutes and you can see here that some of the ETH from the testnet was transferred over to the Arbitrum rollup chain. The next thing that we'll do is deploy the contract onto Arbitrum. Back in our code, we'll execute the script and deploy the contract. So I'll open my terminal. 
And then I'll clear all of this log. And to deploy the contract, I'll type npx hardhat run scripts deploy.js and we'll specify the network to be Arbitrum. Arbitrum. That was quick and you can see here that our contract was deployed to this address. Let's check the block explorer and send some transactions. So I'll copy this contract address and then I'll head over to testnet.iriscan.io. I'll paste the contract address here. Scroll down and I'll click on contracts and the next step, let's verify this contract so that we can interact with it. So I'll click on ver verify and publish. So Solidity single file. The Solidity compiler version is 0 0.8.4. I'll select no license and then hit continue. I'll scroll down and paste our contract code inside here. Paste it here and then hit verify and publish. Okay, once the contract is compiled, let's now send some transaction. So I'll click on the contract and then click on contract tab and then we'll click on write contract. Now to connect our wallet, we'll need to configure a MetaMask and set up the network for Arbitrum testnet. From the Arbitrum documentation, I'll paste this information into my MetaMask wallet. So I'll open my wallet and then click on add network and then paste all of the information from the documentation and then hit save. Once we have our MetaMask wallet configured to connect with Arbitrum rollup chain, we'll send some transaction over. So I'll go back to the contract and then hit connect web3 MetaMask. And once my wallet is connected, we'll send the transaction to set the greetings state variable. And we'll set it to hello l2 and then hit write. Notice that the transaction was immediately confirmed. This is how fast L2 is. Let's double check that the greeting state variable was updated. So I'll click on read contract and then notice here that the greet state variable is hello L2.